how the devil. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So, what have I got? To, what's in this box? Ooh. Well, you probably know what's in the box from the title and the thumbnail. <laughs> but it could be something different. Yeah, it's just the op amps anyway. There we are. Um, so I've got here, now I've got it written down because they've got these long names, haven't they? So what I've got here is the Burr Brown OPA 2604AP. And I'm going to, uh, what do they call it? I'm not done with the street talk. I think it's op amp rolling. Oof, come on, yes. Op amp rolling, okay? I'm going to change the op amps in this Fozzy Audio V3 uh, for these Burr Brown ones. Now, uh, this has the NE5532 op amps in there by Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments, I think, own Burr Brown anyway. So, it's both made by Texas Instruments. There we are. But this is supposed to be a better. I paid um, for the two. I got them direct from Fozzy Audio website. And the reason I did that is that you can get them on eBay and... <coughs> from AliExpress and things like that. But you don't know if they're the genuine ones. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I got them direct from the Fozzy Audio website and it was about 22 quid, 23 pound for them. So not overly expensive. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's get this little Fozzy open. Now, if I understand it right, uh, when I review this, I took it fully apart, took the volume knob off and everything. But you don't need to do that. You just need to pull it out here just to change the op amps. I've also got this little IC tool chip removal tool. Okay, that's uh, it's basically tweezers with, a, with an angled hook on the end. Doink! So you can just go in, whip it out without damaging or bending the prongs on the op amps. Anyway, let's get this bad boy open and change it over for these. Oh. Right, let's get these op amps out. They're at the front here, I believe. If I remember rightly, they're here. And you've got to remove that screw there, or that screw there. It's got a little Allen key. It's not actually a pos uh, Posi Drive or Phillips. And you've got to remove that one there, and that one there. And then, so we're going to replace them with these. There they are. Teeny little things. Do -do 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 -do. Now you've got to remember, that you've got to put them in the right way. So they've got these little cutouts here and a little indentation there, right? And you've got to make sure they're the right way. Otherwise, you're going to F your <laughs> amp up. So make sure you put them in uh, back in the right way. And you use these little indentations and markings to make sure you've got it the right way. Otherwise, it's... <laughs> okay, let's put them over there safe. I got my little tool. Okay, empty box. Right, let's get this open. Now, the thing is, right, this is not, a, I suppose this is a little bit controversial because some people argue there's not much difference up and rolling, and some people argue there is. So I want to know for myself anyway. Does it make a difference to the sound or the sound signature? It's a bit like, you know, people arguing over cables, interconnects, there's no difference, there is a difference. But hey, if you think there is, who gives a shit? <laughs> right. Anyway, let's get this open. Okay, I had to remove that third screw there as well. That one there. And you should be able to pull it. Now, you won't be able to pull it all the way out because it's attached to the wires at the back here. That Them speaker wires are attached to this board here. But you only need to get it out that far, not because that's where, that's where they are, there. Just there. Un, deux. <laughs> In Welsh, it would be in die. There you go. That's the, that's the extent of my Welsh. Okay. Right, so all we've got to do now is use this. Wait a minute. Okay, 
to go in there and pop them out. I'll reposition the, the camera a little bit so you could see it um, better. Right, so these are the two I need to change. But as you can see on these ones in here, they don't have that little indentation there, but they do have the little circle. There you go, look. There and there. So hopefully this cheapy little tool I paid <laughs> uh, three, four quid, for, maybe even two quid, uh, it should work and I should be able to get it in there now. Now let's have a look. Now it should go over the side there. Now here's the problem, is some of these caps are in the way. Jesus Christ! Okay, well, this tool is a pile of poop. All right, <laughs> look, look, look at the look at the state of that. Look, look. No, I'm gonna have to bend them all back into shape if I want to use it again. There you go. So I'm going for Plan B. I'm going to use uh, needle nose pliers and see if that's a bit better because <laughs> that's a pile of shit. Okay, needle nose pliers. Pile of shite, needle nose pliers. <whistles> now, other YouTubers would cut that out and they'd show a, a smooth, easy process, how expert they were. But not me, I'm leaving that in, because that <laughs> is hilarious. So you've got to leave the mistakes in because other people are watching these videos to, to learn. So if you don't put the mistakes in, then how is it anybody else going to learn how to do this? I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Right. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's gone. Let's see if this works a bit better. Whoop. Okay, there we are. Use a needle nose pliers, okay? <laughs> because they come, they were, they're a little bit out of shape, but look at the difference. <laughs> there we are. You can see using them, it's a lot easier. So you use them. Don't waste your money on these piles of poops, right? I can go in the bin. <laughs> Okay, now I've got to put in the other ones now. Let's get them out. Now I have to say, the, the prongs on these do feel a little bit more rigid. And as you can see here, even when you take the op amp out, I don't know if you can see that in there, it does have a little cutout here, look, as well, just there. Let me just make sure I can see that. Where are we? There we are. Okay, just have a little cutout there as well. So if you take them out and you lose them, you go, well, which way does it go in? That's why that little cutout on there is. Okay, and that goes in there then. Okay, let's pop these in. Okay, so you may just have to manipulate, manipulate the, the pins a bit. They weren't quite fitting, so I had to start to just very slightly bend them in uh, and then just give it a shove in. Okay, stick the other one in now. And what I might do, can you see they're a little bit splayed just there? So I'm just gently going to push them in now. Say we just gently, just very gently. They're not exactly the strongest uh, of pins. That should be all right. Make sure they're even all the way long. Hopefully that's it, and get it the right way around. And there you go. So, on that one I had a bit of trouble, uh, but once I learned what to do, 
uh, it was irate. Right, let's get this back together and do a sound comparison between the two. <laughs> okay, it's all back together. All working fine, I have tested it, so I haven't messed it up. Yeah, <laughs> result. Okay. Um, obviously, the I'm not sure if the ones I took out, the 5532s, are still okay. I've put them away for now. Hopefully they still work. <laughs> so if this doesn't sound as good as them, I need to straighten out those pins again and put them back in. <laughs> anyway, so what I've done, done a sound test. Right, A and B. So blind, blind A and B first, and then you have a reveal, and it'll go into which one is which. So have a listen, and let me know what you think in the comments section. Hoo -hoo. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign.
Ooh, what do you think? Oh, right. Please let me know in the comments section. Uh, I do uh, appreciate your opinion on these matters, but I'll tell you what I thought. Now, thankfully for me, okay, the 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 twenty six oh fours sounded a little bit better than the uh, fifty five thirty twos. Uh, now, the, for me, I didn't think there was any difference in the bass as such. I thought the bass was pretty much the same. I think where the, the major differences came from was the mid ranges and the upper ranges, the high frequencies. I just thought the sound stage was a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Uh, and I thought the stereo separation was better and the imaging was slightly better. I'm only talking small margins here. I'm not talking huge, massive differences, night and day differences. But definitely I thought that the um, 2604s were just slightly superior. Uh, but here's the thing. Okay. Everyone's ears are different, right? And everyone's room is different. Everyone's listening area is different. Everyone has, everyone prefers something, you know. So my opinion to some people might be, what's he talking about? I've tried that, it sounded pants, it sounded rubbish, okay? But to my ears and my listening room and what I like, some people don't like a lot of bass. Some people don't like really high trebles. Some people do like a lot of bass. So it's, everyone's different. And also, I, I'm not one for... Look, measurements are important and specifications. Uh, so, you know, you, you go in at the audio science review and, and it's great. You've got all the measurements there and this measures really well and that measures really well. And you go, oh, fantastic, it measures really well. You get it into your listening space and it sounds rubbish. You're like scratching your head. What's going on here? Now, the reason for that is simple. It's because, you know, when they're doing these tests, the, the room is all treated. So whatever room they're using is all acoustically treated. So you're gonna get the perfect measurements and they needs to be acoustically treated, I understand. But some of our listening rooms maybe have some acoustic treatment, but not like they've got. Okay, so it's going to sound different. So the measurements are gonna be different in your listening area. Absolutely preposterous. So measurements are good to give you an idea but you can't always rely on them. The only thing you can rely on is... <laughs> okay, these, all right. But anyway, so I thought uh, that the, the 2604s sounded better. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. That's come to the end of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.